Welcome to Julie the Thrifty Designer. Today I'm going to show you how I decorate what's behind me. So stay tuned and see what I'm going to do with it. Okay, I'm going to show you my stand I have right by my front door and what I have done with it. Hello all. Okay, let's just kind of start here. All right, here is my tree. Uh, my, I call them it's still my little creepy Italian trees, little cypress tree that I have stuck in a beautiful garden urn that I got at the thrift store. All of this I've got at the thrift store. And then I found this amazing, beautiful clock. I don't know if it works. I did not put batteries in it. And if it doesn't work, I had thought about maybe taking out the clock face completely and finding a beautiful picture to put in there. Something either Italian or a, or a cottage, uh, simple little country cottage or something. I, I don't know, but I, I like it with the clock. I haven't tested it. I haven't had time. As you saw in the mirror, I still have all everything piled up behind me, ready for the basement whenever I get that done. But right now I'm at somewhat a stopping point down there because I'm waiting for the delivery of some more shelves. They won't be here till probably Tuesday. So I'm gonna at least give you this. And I'm filming this Sunday afternoon. And down below here is just uh, I have this beautiful, uh, you can't really see it. I don't know if I can go like this and you can. I have a nice little stand down here. And I've just simply put some greenery and some uh, grapes and another cabbage rose and another rose. In fact, I'm out of cabbage rose, so I kind of borrowed it from another location in the house just to show you how it would work in another location. And my scent pot. And then, of course, the scent pot's put in a glare very badly but this beautiful picture of somewhere in England I think it's just an absolutely exquisite picture just gorgeous yet the grapes and that is old world and it's got the old world wrought iron back behind it which is that Tuscan type of feel and my table itself is wrought iron and old world looking and up here of course I've got like that sugar-coated grapes that look great with some greenery. And some of it is the greenery that I used at Christmas, but it's also, it's the cypress tree. And I figured it still works. And then for my spot of red that I do, I put in the, the old world style candle holder and more grapes and some greenery. And then I put in some uh, cute little flowers of some kind of, um, I can't think, four clocks or no, uh, I can't say the name of those at the moment. But they're sure pretty, aren't they? And then I found this cabbage rose plate at the thrift store. And I just put it on a Dollar Tree rack. I think I paid like $4.99 for the urn. And I think the clock itself was also like $4.99. Let me see if the price is still on it. Um, oh, well, I know I may. I guess I paid more than that. It was $19.99 and I got it half price. So I got it for $10. Sorry. Um, but it was just too beautiful to pass up. I think it is absolutely exquisite. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And it just really brings on a really very, very pretty touch of old world right here. I think it looks really nice. It is so pretty.
Well, I hope I was able to inspire you with just a little entryway table on what you can do. Uh, I just try to mix the different fields together and I think they're so pretty. I just love to decorate and I hope I can give you ideas from the thrift store. It doesn't have to cost a lot. Uh, some Dollar Tree, a little bit here and there, and you can create the most beautiful things. The grapes on the bottom shelf behind me actually did come from the Dollar Tree. The bigger grapes on the top shelf actually came from the thrift store. So, you know, it's just a mixture of things. And so just play around. That's the fun of decorating. Just add this. I don't think it's going to work try it. You might be surprised because that's kind of what happened with me when I stumbled across decorating with uh, Old World and the English Cottage. It actually worked better than I thought. I thought, I don't think it'll work, but I put it together and loved it. So just try different looks, whether yours is farmhouse and French country with the top touch of modern. I don't know. Just kind of throw some of it together and you might be surprised how well you can blend. That's what's nice about the eclectic look. You can do that and it might just work out. So thanks for watching guys. Give me a thumbs up and please subscribe and you all take care and God bless and happy decorating.